So what Rarible is, is a marketplace where you can not only buy and sell NFTs, but you can create them as well. If you come up here and hit the create button, you could create uh, two different types of uh, NFTs. And we'll go over both of these and I'll show you the differences. So it says single or multiple. These are actually different types of uh, tokens, of uh, tokens on Ether. So I'm gonna click on the single and the single is actually the ERC721 token. So that's what you're creating. Now the, for, the standard ERC721 token is an older uh, format. It was the, kind of like the original, uh, one of the original formats. Um, and what an ERC721 token that you'll be creating here, what that means is you could just create a unique item. So how it works is, that, you know, you pretty much fill out this form, but what it does in the back end is it creates code in a program language called Solidity, and that code gets uploaded to the blockchain. That code is, the format of that code is called the ERC721 token. So that's, that's what that means. Uh, so in this, you could uh, obviously, you know, create your own uh, token here and, and follow these instructions. Now the only di now the difference between the ERC721 and the other one, I'm gonna go back now um, and show you, I'm gonna hit multiple here. So if I hit multiple, you'll notice instead of the ERC721, uh, it has the ERC1155. This is the more updated version and you can create single NFTs with it. Um, but you could also create multiple ones and it gives you this new option. This is, this was, this option wasn't the other one. So now you could create a um, hundred of the same token, or if you want to do one, uh, you, you still can, but it's a, di it's an updated format. And that's why you have these two different options. Rarible in order to create the token, it's called minting. Um, in order to mint a token, it will cost you what's called gas fees. And we're getting into gas fees too. And what gas fees are, are literally, you have to pay um, everybody that's running the Ethereum network. They're all running these computers that are processing all this information. You have to pay them in order to, for your tra transaction to go through. So that's what gas fees are at a really basic level. Keep in mind that it, as a general rule of thumb, gas fees are high usually during the business days you know, Monday through Friday, what I, that's what I've noticed, that gas fees are super high, you know, midday through the, through the days. And then they're not as high, you know, off times, usually at night, you know, uh, usually 4 a.m. or something like that, you can go on, on there and get uh, lower gas fees. So keep in mind that timing uh, does play um, a role when you're uh, minting or doing anything that costs gas fees on the Ethereum blockchain. So, um, so you can either put on sale or you're not. I'm gonna just have that uh, put on sale. And then it asks you, do you want an instant sale price? Like if somebody buys you, uh, uh, wants to buy it for one ether, you know, today, what is it? <coughs> uh, I think just ether just bumped up to like $2,400 uh, a token. So, you know, one ether, someone wanted to buy it for that, that, you know, that shows you right here, uh, 2327. Now there is a service fee um, that Rarible takes. And this is obviously the service fee for them to have, have created this marketplace for us to use it. So, you know, I don't have any problem with that. Um, and this is how much you'll receive if someone buys it for one ether, you actually receive 0.975 ether. Um, unlock once purchase. I really like this feature. Now, this is where we'll be getting into why it's important to have a website for your NFTs because if you have a website for your NFTs, you're always in control of what this is. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, I made a mistake when I first did this, that I put a Dropbox link into it, so whoever buys, well, what this means, unlock once purchase, is whoever is has the current ownership of this token, they could actually download uh, what's in here. And this could be a password, it could be a, um, a link to a website that ha gives you a username and password, or it could just be a, a unique link yeah. that, they, that they give you. So for example, like let's say you're an artist and you have a canvas you wanna sell, and then you have a link to your website where it has, a, so they bought your, your canvas, 
and now they have this link and they can go to your website and type in a code and yeah. that code then gives them access to a contact form where they can put in their shipping address or whatever you want to collect from them and then you can ship them their canvas. Yeah, absolutely. So um, you could put this, whatever you want, this secret information in here and only the, the current owner will be able to unlock it. And uh, so yeah, so I did Dropbox at first and then I realized, well, what if Dropbox changes like uh, their, their link structure? So then that kind of negates this code. So instead what I recommend is having your own link to a website where people can, uh, you can have a page per, um, per token, you know, per unique token, and then you can um, unlock it here. You could give them, a, you could actually literally, if you're using so, like software like WordPress, you can give them a username and password, and then, uh, you know, using software management tools within WordPress, so when that logs in, they don't get full access to your site, but they get access to uh, maybe a hidden page in your website. Um, one thing I do want to point out before we keep going is uh, Spencer and I both, we are web developers. That's what we do full time for a living. So if you need a website that has this functionality, uh, definitely please reach out to us. We have our contact information below. Um, you can go to our website, positioningwealth.com, and then there's a contact page where you could email us from there. Uh, we'll, we'll have more ways uh, for you guys to contact us, including on social media as well. So please re, uh, reach out to us if you do need that service. Now we can create our own token. So how this works is you can create your token on, uh, so Rarible has their own RARI, which this is their own uh, ERC-115 token, and you could create it on their collectible, or you could create your own collection. It does cost more in gas fees if you want to create your own collection or if you just want to put it in Rarible's collection. Now that doesn't make any difference when you're trying to um, buy and sell, you, you know. So think about it this way, like if you're opening up your own store, NFT store, probably want to buy your own token first uh, and then create um, individual NFTs under that token. So if you create your own token, you'll see another option here that will pop up that will have your tokens. So. Yeah, and that, that, that's a substantial investment. That, that can yeah. run a few thousand dollars to create your own. Yeah, so if you do want to do that, you put in uh, the required information. You could uh, create what your token is going to look like, um, with the display name, the symbol, um, and you could really make it anything you want, but you probably wouldn't make it, want to make it like a symbol that already exists. You know, you want to create your own. Um, and I think this is, it, it, I think it's up to four characters, I want to say. And then you have your description and you would have, and you know, it gives you your own uh, wearable URL if you want to do that, which is really cool. So then you hit create co uh, collection and then your collection would show up here. Uh, but you could just do it if you don't have that much money to, to start with, you could just do a wearable token and then go from there. Uh, the name is really just what is your item. You could describe your item. And here's the description of your NFT. Uh, royalties, this is super important. This is, on the first transaction, you're obviously gonna get, you know, the entire transaction amount minus the 2.5% that Rarible does collect. Um, but say for future, for tr transaction after the first transaction, uh, for um, uh, resells, this is gonna be put in the blockchain. So it, this information is gonna be stored on your NFT that says, hey, every time my NFT is sold to somebody else, I will get this percentage of that transaction. Super important because let's say your NFT is on fire and it gets bought and sold to many different people. Uh, as it goes up in price, you're gonna get uh, that percentage. So uh, a lot of people start with 10. Uh, some people want to do 20, 25, 30. It's really up to you. You can put any percentage amount. Obviously the buyers and sellers are gonna look at uh, this. This is good public information that uh, on your NFT, so it sees how much um, royalties that you're gonna get back. Uh, we already talked about this, but number of copies, if you wanna make one or 100, keep in mind, the more the copies you make, some people you put a million, you know, yeah. the, the more copies that um, you make of your coin though, you know, maybe the less valuable it becomes. So you just wanna keep that in, in mind. Uh, if you make a one of one, you could definitely do that. 
And then what's really cool is you can add individual properties. Like um, I like to add if uh, if I do a format, what format the, the purchase one comes in. So you could do format. And then I like to do something like this where maybe it's a JPEG or a PNG. Um, so those are the types of formats it comes. You could do, um, you know, size of your NFT. So maybe it's the largest version is in 6K. So you're doing like 6K by, I don't know, 3000. I don't know, I'm just guessing there, but um, you can do the size of it with the size of it. So you can keep going and add a, a lot of these properties in there. I think it's really cool also to put the date, you know, our um, date created. And then today's date, here's today's date here. So in case you're watching this in the future. Um, year month day right there so that it always stays with this now this this information is uh, they use the term immutable a lot what immutable means is it's uneditable you cannot edit it in any way once you create this token so this will stick on the token so once you this information out you really want to double check to make sure that everything is correct Hey guys, the purpose of this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only and should not be construed as financial advice in any way. We are not licensed financial advisors and all opinions are ours and ours alone. There are risks involved in any investment.